going to invite you to explore the feeling of safety. What does it feel like? You can close your eyes if you like. What does it feel like in your body to feel safe? And in contrast, you might reflect on what happens when you feel unsafe. What behaviors do you take on to assure your personal safety? And I know over the past couple of years, many of us have adopted behaviors to create personal safety because of that innate fear of being unsafe, especially triggered by the last couple of years of events. So. Explore, be that mindset detective. What happens when you don't feel safe in your body, in the world, in, in your community? What are your coping mechanisms that are born out of anxiety or fear? reflecting on some that you may have adopted unconsciously or unknowingly. And then invite that feeling once again, that knowing that true knowingness that you are safe right here, right here, right now. No matter what is going on, no matter what the diagnosis, no matter what the news, no matter what's going on in your community or your country. See if you can invite the feeling of being safe right here, right now. And you can open your eyes if you like, remaining in that awareness of safety, awareness of um, really belonging right here, that it's safe to be right here. So in the United States a few days ago, the Surgeon General announced that there was a new pandemic and a pandemic of loneliness. I don't know if you heard about that in the news, but there's a pandemic of loneliness, and of course it only makes sense based on those signs to be socially distanced over the last three years. It's, they're still around, I see them as I travel. But really the truth was, we didn't need to be socially distanced. We needed to be physically distanced, but socially we could still connect. But because of fear, because of the isolation, whether physical or emotional, um, you know, we started to become lonely, a lot of us became lonely. And so what is the antidote, antidote for that loneliness, which they say is as dangerous as smoking that affects our mental health, our physical health, our emotional health. And, and so how can we create an antidote to that? Today, obviously we're together, there are over, there are over there are 40 of us right now. And sometimes, and some of you listening to this recording, Sometimes we can feel together being on Zoom, but other times we need to create a feeling of belonging, a feeling of belonging wherever we are with whomever we're with. And, you know, you probably heard that um, quote that there are no strangers, they're just friends I haven't met yet. And to walk in the world with that feeling of, these are just friends that I haven't met yet. 
some of us, including myself, were brought up in a, a family that was very di divisive, that there was the us, a family unit, and then there was the them. Um, and so that used to be my experience. Everybody was other in my family, except for our family. And so I had to unlearn the otherness. There are no others, as Ramana Maharshi, this ancient sage in India, our 20th century sage in India said, there are no others. And if we can walk through the world with the sense that there are no others, I even like to suggest that we even try or put into practice the sense of there I am, there I am. You can even look at these beautiful faces if you click on your view screen here, for those of you live on Zoom and go to the gallery view, you can see all these beautiful faces. Some of you have names, but only names showing, but if you wanted to un, uh, hide yourself and you can look at these beautiful faces and go, there I am, there I am, there I am. It's a great um, way to feel connected, whether the I is the great I of God or spirit or soul, or whether you simply feel this kinship with all life. There I am, there I am. I love doing that. I love doing that in an airport or a shopping center um, or at a coffee shop. There I am. And if you wanted to take it one more step further, you could say, uh, if something thrills you or excites you about another person or you admire something about another person, you can say, uh, there I am. And I like to say, if you spot it, you got it. If you spot that kindness, if you spot that beauty, if you spot that compassion, if you spot that generosity, that's because it's you. You see it, you know it, it's, you're intimate with the experience of it. So I'm gonna invite you to use that as a practice. There I am, there I am, or here I am, and here we are. So how do we create that sense of belonging? It can be just as simple as some affirmations that you use that uh, in those inviting those feelings of feeling safe. What does it feel like to feel like you belong? You belong here, I belong here. Sometimes I feel like I don't belong. So then I know that there's some contraction. And sometimes all I need to do is meditate to expand my awareness of the sense of belonging. It's a sense of ease and joy when we're truly present. And this is possible in any moment. I belong. I am safe. Here I am. Here, here I am. There I am. We're all this and there are no others. So often we, can, we don't feel like we belong because of stress or feeling anxious or doubt or uh, scared, being afraid. So it can contract our expanded heart. So mindfulness and meditation can really help us to remember the truth of belonging. So I'm gonna invite you to close your eyes right now as I guide you into a simple mindfulness practice. And it's going to start with the five elements, you know, the five elements of space and air and earth and fire and water. It was really present to me when I was recently in Ireland. Nature is so loving and you belong here. Nature is not outside you. You are belonging to nature. And sometimes we have to remind ourselves we're not going outside. And nature's inside in the form of you. And nature's inside in the form of a house plant, in the form of the air around you, and the space around you, and the heat in your body, and the food that you've eaten. So I'm going to invite you to close your eyes and get very comfortable as we go into about a 20 minute meditation. And as you know, for those of you who've meditated with me before and those new thoughts are going to be okay if you get distracted. The main job you have is to be kind to yourself and keep coming back again and again to the practice. This five elements mindfulness practice, this practice of belonging. And be kind to yourself, let go of any preconceived notions if you've already done this before. And let's stick with the whole practice as you get as comfortable as you can. Your eyes can be opened or closed, gazing downward to the ground if you prefer. You can put your hands on your lap. Make those micro adjustments to 
your comfort, your ease. And let's start with some mindful, long, slow, deep breaths through the nose if you can. Breathing in slowly and deeply at your own pace and exhaling slowly and fully through the nose. And let's do three long, slow, deep breaths to send a signal to your body that it's okay. It's okay to relax, it's okay to belong, it's okay to be here. And on your next exhale, just invite that softening into your body. Letting go of any tension in your belly or lowering your shoulders. Relaxing your beautiful face. As you let your breath return to its natural rhythm and depth. Allowing every sensation that you're feeling to be here now. You can imagine that you're sitting in this very present moment with the senses washing over you, the sensory experiences, the sounds that come and go, the sensations that come and go, the breath that comes and goes. Though each moment comes and goes, you can just simply let it wash over you, recognizing there's nothing you need to do. This moment is perfect as it is. In the flow of this life right now. Grounded in this body, inviting the sense of loving this moment, this body, this life. Noticing what you feel, what's happening right now. Letting your breath be natural. You might notice that the body moves with the breath. The breaths come and go with ease. And drop your awareness to the center of your chest. or perhaps even putting your hand on your heart center. Can I meet what's happening here? My mind, my body, my emotions in this life with kindness. Can I meet the fear, the despair, the loneliness, the strife with kindness. Can I meet this moment with love? Welcoming everything, loving what is.
You can let your hand rest on your lap if you've had it on your heart. And now we're going to explore the feeling of being grounded, grounded in this moment, grounded as you notice the weight of your body. the solidity of your body and this earth element, the stability of your body. Feeling that sense of structure and solid solidity, allow your body to soften and rest deeply on the chair, feet on the floor, Tuning into the solidity, the stability of the structure of your body, the bones, the flesh. All that is solid and dense. Feeling the stability. This is the earth. Your body is of this earth. And it's connected to all the earth around you, the ground, the trees, the plants, the rocks, all that is solid and stable. Inviting that feeling of stability, of density, of connecting to the earth beneath you and all the other earthlings in our groundedness. Feeling the solidity of the earth or the floor beneath your feet. You're being held in each and every moment by this beautiful earth. And now we'll move to the element of fire and light. As you begin to notice the heat or warmth in your body. Tuning into the warmth that you might feel in your arms and your hands that's being generated by your beautiful body. Maybe you feel the fire element in your belly. Maybe you feel the fire of desire, the fire of knowing, the fire of your intellect. There's the fire of digestion, digesting your experiences. Turning each and every experience into fuel for your nourishment, burning up all the toxins. The fire element also includes light. Notice if you feel light in your body. Maybe you see light 
coming through your eyelids. This fire of metabolism, the light of your awareness. It's the same as the light of the stars, the light of the sun. knowing that you're connected with this light. The light of love. And those sparks of creativity and joy. We'll bring our attention now to the element of water flowing and smooth. Perhaps you can sense the water element in your body, the moistness of your eyes. Or in your mouth. Noticing the fluids inside your body that's circulating your blood, your lymph. Perhaps you can sense the water that surrounds you, whether it's the dew on the grass, or the bodies of water near you, or this rain in the sky. Water carries a vibration. Invite whatever vibration you would like to infuse the water element in your body and the water around you with. Joy or safety, belonging, healing, beauty, Would you like to infuse that water element in your body with, and the water element around you with, the water that comes out of your sink, it's in your shower? The oceans, the rivers, the lakes, the mist, the clouds, the water that's in your water tank, the water in your body. Your attention can travel to all of it with the rider of your intention of joy or beauty, love or compassion. Taking this moment now to recognize that you are connected with the water all over this beautiful planet and beyond. Now let's tune into the element of air, the breezes, the breath, noticing how you breathe in and out and how the air moves you, nourishes you. You can tune into the inhale and feel that fresh air as it enters your lungs. Explore that exhale. 
as you empty your lungs and release toxins through your exhale. Letting your whole body relax with the breath. The breath connects us to lightness, to transformation, to purity, to nourishment. As you breathe in, you breathe in the sky and the wind. You breathe in the air and the light. For a few minutes, we'll rest our awareness on the breath as we breathe together. You and me and all of us who are breathing on this planet. You might even say to yourself, I am aware I am breathing in as you breathe in, and I am aware I am breathing out, as you breathe out. Coming right back here to this moment. Your breath is here, your body is here. Your belonging is here, your love is here. Now you can begin to tune into the space between the breaths. The pause on the exhale. The pause on the end of the inhale. The space in the nostrils, the trachea, and the lungs that the breath fills. As you expand your awareness, begin to notice the space around you with your eyes closed, the space where your body is.
the space inside you and around you. You also might notice as you begin to breathe the space between the breaths and the space between you and everything in your space around you. Inviting the sense of belonging in this space. Inviting the feeling of safety in this space. It's in this space that the best of life can meet you. It's the space between you and everything. It's where the magic happens. Space of transformation and evolution. The qualities are so light, full of possibility. And you are connected to the sky, the cosmos, simply because you are that space. What exists in the space around you? There's an ancient Navajo prayer, or maybe it's Hopi, that it's called the beauty way. They believe that beauty, which encompasses everything, love and beyond, belonging, peace, Safety, it's called beauty. Beauty above me, beauty below me, beauty in front of me, beauty behind me, beauty beside me, beauty inside me. May I, may you walk in beauty. May we walk in this space of beauty. May we sit in this space of beauty. So as you sit here now, eyes closed, dwelling in the space of beauty or whatever that means to you, We'll take just a few minutes, this timelessness of space.
I'm going to share a prayer with you as you sit here, one that I offer to you and that I embrace myself as you sit in the stillness and listen. Taking a deeper breath. You might come out of meditation slowly, first with your eyes closed, but becoming aware of the space around you once again. The sounds around you which exist in the space. Just 
stretching into the space around you as you notice the light that's coming through your eyelids. Moving that solidity of your body. Noticing the moisture in your mouth and your eyes as you begin to open your eyes with a downward gaze. And we can begin to come out of meditation slowly. Becoming more aware of the light and the earth, the water, the air and the space. It's in the space that we connect, that we can listen to beautiful music, that we can meditate together. So thank you for joining me in the meditation. Uh, that prayer for me is exquisite and hopefully I'll, I'll put it in the chat if you are interested in finding out what that is. <laughs>